Hello fellow accountants, welcome to learning at igcseaccounts.com. Please do visit our website at www.igcseaccounts.com. If you go to the notes section you'll find the notes that go along with this tutorial and the easiest way to follow the tutorial is to right click over the button that says notes click here and download it onto your desktop which should be much quicker than waiting for it to load up on your web browser. My name is Dino Hoss and today we are looking at the double entry for expenses and revenue. An expense is a day-to-day -day cost of running the business. So for example, if we looked at our bank account and what was to leave that account, what was to go out, then when we pay our electricity bill or we pay our wages to our staff or salaries. Of course with every payment that you make on a day-to-day -day basis to run your business then money is going to go out of your bank account and will go into the pockets if you like of the electricity company in this case or your workers in the form of wages or salaries. We discussed in the previous tutorial how most of the money that a business will receive into the bank account comes from sales. But students should also be aware that money does come in from other sources and one of the common sources is rent received. So if you were actually renting your business premises, um, building, office, shop, then usually you would have to pay the owner a rent. So your landlord, if you like, would turn up at the beginning of the month, collect his or her rent and you would have to pay that out of your bank account. Now some businesses are in the very fortunate position where they actually own the building and they can rent out a part of the building, the premises, that they don't actually use. So if you can imagine a school which isn't full to capacity, in other words it's not using all the classrooms, maybe it might decide to rent a few classrooms to another business. I suppose the example of that which students may be able to relate to is imagine you go off on your summer holidays and you're at a private school or even a government school and they decide to rent out the school to an outside business that uses it for summer school of course they're not going to do that for free they're going to rent it and hopefully receive an income or money that will go into your bank account so we're going to look at the double entry for an expense or a revenue and if we think about the taking and the giving effect, the double entry is actually very, very straightforward. In reality, there's only two ways you can make a payment for an expense. So if you look at the top of the handout, you can see here that if we paid for stamps, for example, via cash, then of course that's going to come out of your cash account electricity, if we pay by cheque, we automatically know that's going to come out of our bank account. So here we would open two tier accounts. One is the cash account, the second is the bank account, and we would show the expenses being paid on the debit side. A uh, quick note for you, the expenses are always on the debit side because when you make a payment out of your cash or bank account, of course it's going to go out on the credit side and into your expense account on the debit side. So if we look to the electricity here we can see that we would credit on June the 2nd $229 and we would debit the expenses account of electricity in this case on the debit side on June the 2nd for $229. If the two T accounts are kept on separate pages of your ledger book then the cross-reference would be written as bank in your electricity account, 
so that we know that the other half of the double entry is in the bank account and we could then look for the bank T account and find the other half which in this case on June the 2nd is the payment for the electricity. If we were looking at the postages which is the first example again it would come out of our cash account on the credit side on the 1st of June and we'd go into our postages account on the date. So in this case we can see that our postages would be a debit entry and that would be shown on the debit side or the inside of the postages account on June the 1st and cross-reference to cash. If we consider the third transaction which is on June the 3rd we can see that the company receives, other than sales, a rent of $138 in the form of cash. So that, as it's a receipt, would go into the business cash T account on the debit side on June the 3rd and it would be recorded for the amount of $138. As we've discussed earlier, very often the T accounts are kept on separate pages of the ledger book. In the same way that in this particular handout, the other half of the double entry is recorded in the rent received account on the next page of the handout. So when we're looking for the other half of the double entry, we would simply be able to then look for our rent received account or receivable accounts and here it is and we can see the credit entry which is shown on the right hand side of the rent receivable account as a result of the tenant, the person renting your property having to pay you money from their pocket so it's going to go out if you like of their rent receivable account and into your cash T account. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do visit our website at www.igcseaccounts.com. Remember, you can find handouts, past papers and mark schemes, as well as interactive quizzes at our website. If you're studying AS level accounts or A2 level accounts, then please do visit our sister website at www.alevelaccounts.weebly.com